All right, what's up, guys? Um, I uh, am going to be streaming, uh, trying to do it pretty regularly, just trying to get a way to stay on YouTube. And I've uh, tried a lot of different things. And the most success I've had is with uh, website critiques and then to-do lists. So right now I'm going to do a to-do list, and I'm going to talk about um, uh, pop-ups. Now, uh, pop-ups are kind of a disputed thing in marketing. A lot of people find them super annoying, but what's not disputed is how effective they are. But before I get to that, I just want to talk to you guys about a couple of things I got going on here that, um, and some ways you can help support me. So this is my website here. I recently have been doing a lot of online consultation. Many people will call me or they'll use Zoom um, screen sharing with me and we will go through some things on their website and I've helped them kind of fix a lot of the things. So if you're kind of an intro developer or you're a small business owner, you can go to my website and click this book now button. That's josephdevelops.com. Uh, and if you want to go to the site directly to the page, it's josephdevelops.com slash book. And um, I have all these bookings available here. I have none left on um, none left tomorrow, but you can book me here. I am available on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I just want to say that this is Hawaiian time. So make sure you kind of uh, convert the time zone accordingly. And this will lock you in. I do 45 minute consultations and I'm um, not too sure what I'm going to put for the price on here. Uh, but I think right now I have it at $100, which is a lot of value because it's a one time fee and I can help, you know, prevent you from making a lot of mistakes really early on. So highly recommended. Um, a lot of people have been really benefiting from these things. So I finally just made it a static page on my site rather than just doing it based on people emailing me. So that's something. Um, if you don't want to make the $100 investment for 45 minutes of your time, another recommendation I could make is that you go ahead and join this group here, Web Design Critiques. That's facebook.com slash groups um, slash web design critique. Uh, and uh, here I've, uh, you know, I've done a lot of, critiques of people's websites. Here's one um, where I made a critique. I'll just play it for a little bit. This is the best one as possible. So it might be a better solution. To now the, the volume's a little bit quiet here, but you can see I'm kind of looking at this site and critiquing it. Um, and I will probably post it publicly just so everybody can benefit from some of my experience. But you know, uh, if you want to get a free critique of your site and just kind of get some free throw down knowledge, go ahead and join this group. Again, that's uh, facebook.com slash group slash web design critique. And I will critique your site for free. Um, not all sites will be critiqued because I just frankly don't have enough time, but highly recommend this if you want to go the free route. Uh, if you, you know, if you don't want it to be public, uh, then go ahead and book this and that'll enable you to have some secrecy so you can kind of keep it under wraps. A lot of the pro devs that I work with don't want people to know that really I'm kind of the one behind um, the curtain pulling the strings. They want to take credit, which is great. You just got to pay for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to what we're going to do. This is a site I recently built for my um, brother-in-law. It's actually the first site that I'm going to publish since I've been here on Maui. And um, it, it's pretty cool. I, I have a couple little things. The desktop version is totally like locked in. There's a couple little um, glitches I have to work out for the mobile version. But it's a really good looking site. You know, really good looking. Um, there's no blog post yet, but uh, so what we're talking about today is, you know, pop-ups. Pop and I'm going to put a pop-up on this site's blog. There currently are no blog posts. If you go to the blog here, there's no public blog post yet. You see, it just says no post. That'll probably, maybe we'll put something up this week, but, um, you know, we'll get to that uh, eventually. But really, just because I haven't installed the pop-up yet for this site, this I was just going to kind of do it live so you could see 
at least the way I do it. So the first thing you need to do is log into WordPress. Um, I kind of did that already, but I just wanted to show you the screen. Obviously, if you don't know your password, just go ahead and click the lost password thing and then enter your email and hopefully you can retrieve it. If you don't, if you aren't able to get your retrieve uh, your password, that kind of goes beyond the scope of what I can cover in this video. But uh, okay, so here we're at the dashboard and we need to, the first thing we need to do um, is make sure we have some kind of form to capture our email. I use MailChimp for WP. Uh, that's already set up. If you want me to show you how to set that up, make sure to let me know. That's a little bit too much for the scope of this video, but um, in order to have your pop-up, uh, you, can, you can set up the pop-up beforehand, um, but you won't be able to actually capture um, leads until you have a way to do it. I use MailChimp um, just because I like having the, the list in a separate place that's a little bit more secure than my website. But you can, there are a dozen ways to kind of do this, which is why I'm not going into this video, but you just have to make sure you have some way to kind of import the um, email addresses into your site. But okay, so now what we're gonna really talk about, what is really the heart of this video is um, the pop-up. So my recommendation, um, for those of you who kind of follow me, you, you're gonna know already that I recommend this guy, Themify Pop-Up. Got a link in the description below. If you use that link, it'll help me out if you go and buy some of their stuff because I get like a percentage. Um, but you can just go on your own. It's just themify.me. I, I don't mind either way. But uh, to set up the Themify pop-up, you just click. Uh, so just to kind of go back over it, say you just logged in, you're in the dashboard. All right, you're in the dashboard. You go to plugins. Then you go to add new up here in the left. And then you click, you can write Themify pop-up if you want. I mean, if you write Themify, it's probably just going to come up either way anyway. But there's a ton of, Themify makes a ton of free plugins, which is awesome of them. Um, this one's not super popular, but you know what? It works. And they don't, don't really have an incentive to make like a, usually when you have a pop-up like this, it'll be like a freer version, you know? Um, and then you can get more, uh, uh, functionality if you buy like the premium version for for themify their incentive here and I always know I always think it's important to know what a company's incentive is they just want you to know who they are you know and they just want to have something out there that works with their stuff so their their incentive is just to kind of like hopefully you'll buy you know one of their themes or another one of their plugins or extensions um, so we're, we get to really benefit from that because uh, this is a great plugin and it's pretty much free and it really works with any themes. It doesn't have to necessarily be a Themify plugin. So I just clicked the install button and now I'm going to click activate. So you can see in here, let's just go to the active ones. Okay, so you can see the Themify pop-up. It's right here. Um, so to set it up, you'll see that there's this newly um, appeared kind of menu on the side and uh, I usually will just go click it and then there's a sample one. I just want to make sure I delete that right away because uh, I mean you can go and edit that one but I delete it because I want to make sure that I know everything that's happening. Um, when you first put on the plugin um, it may just put a plugin across your entire site so uh, I would just make sure that it's not doing that without you knowing it, especially if you're one of those sites that get a lot of traffic. So right away, go ahead and delete that. So let's make a new one. And I'm going to call this uh, uh, blog newsletter, um, newsletter, I don't know, grower list, sign up, whatever. It doesn't, it really doesn't matter what you call it. And then um, since we're in Themify, uh, we can do it this way. But just in case you're not doing a Themify theme, I'm going to show you how to do it the other way. Now, um, for MailChimp, we're, uh, MailChimp for WP's plugin, you have to use a code, a short code. If you want more info on short codes, let me know in the comments. But go ahead and make sure it's in the text here, not the visual. So you're going to go to the text editor, not the visual editor. 
and let's go ahead and just put that in there. Now, um, as far as creating the plugin, we're pretty much done, but we just have to go and edit some options here. So I don't want the pop-up to show for the entire site. I just like having it show on single post. So I can go ahead and click specific pages. Um, it should be already selected on general, but if it's not click general and then click single post views. And this will make it so it only pops up for, um, you know, for uh, people who are looking at blog posts. That way it doesn't go on your front page and it won't kind of stop them from uh, going through something. But if you, from your marketing perspective, it depends on the way your business is modeled and the way your website is modeled. You may want to just do the entire site. Um, I'm not opposed to that, uh, but I will say that this is the least disturbing way. So if you are trying to actually sell something, if you have an e-commerce site, um, I don't know, this is more of a marketing decision. I just want you to know that the functionality is there. I personally just like to put it on my blogs um, because I don't want, because I actually sell things on my site and I don't want people to be kind of perturbed and leave the site and not buy something because of the what's in the blog post. Okay, so here's the different ways to trigger the pop-up. There's time delay, which you can like make the pop-up appear after a certain amount of time. Not a big fan of this way, not a big fan of this style. Uh, a lot of people are, and you know, that's that works. Um, but my main problem with the time delay is if you have it open in a different window, you're not engaging with the with the content when the pop-up kind of comes up. So it's not going to be necessarily a high rate of return. Um, it does ensure that they will see the pop-up if they decide not to scroll down. But if, in my opinion, if they're not scrolling down, it's kind of a waste anyway. Uh, so that's kind of my stance. Uh, exit intent. This is like if they leave, it's like, wait, don't go, you know, stay here. I got this awesome deal for you. I'll give you 20% off on my e-store or some crap like that. Not a big fan of exit intent because if somebody wants to leave, you know, you've heard the phrase, if you love her, let her go. And I really believe that with your viewers. If you want to show them love and, you know, kind of keep with them and not kind of make them upset, you got to let them go if they want to go so you don't trick them. Um, now this one is just like if they've looked at a different page, then you can, then you'll show it to them. But if they don't, um, anyway, this is kind of complicated, so I don't want to get too into it, but it's basically like you're looking at their, the way they, the path they view your website through and how they got to your website. And then you're deciding whether or not you want to, um, show them the pop-up, uh, these are two of the ones that I typically use. So um, I'm going to show you a quick example of manual launch uh, since I've just kind of made a site that utilizes it quite a bit. Um, so this is a this is a website I built for Dave Kooning. Oh, it's actually not working correctly. Hold on, let me reload. It's glitching out over here. Okay, there we go. I got to go fix that right now. Um, but uh, so this is a manual launch. You see there's a button, you push it, and then a pop-up pops up over. Okay? So when you see blog and it says manual launch right here, it's like something like this. So this is not a pop-up that pops up unless you actually engage with the, the content and click it. Another example is here. So you click the contact and rather than like putting you go to a contact page, it just pops the email right up here in the front. Okay, so that's this. Wait, no, oh. that's this manual launch. Scroll position is actually what I'm gonna do today, and I'm gonna. So this actually pops up based on where you are on the screen. I'm gonna put it at 40%. Okay, and I'm gonna do a slide out. Um, classic is right in the middle. Slide out is in the bottom right. Full screen just does a full screen takeover. Never a big fan of full screen takeover, so I'll put it slide out on the, the bottom right. Okay, and then we can choose the pop-up dimensions. Uh, I'm just gonna leave these blank for now and just see what kind of happens. I'm gonna do a slide, slide in right, fade in right big, let's do that, and then fade out right, like big. Fade out right, 
big. And what I'm doing here is I'm making the animation that will occur. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to keep those, but let's just try them. And uh, should we limit the pop-up? Let's just limit the pop-up to one time. Actually, let's not do that right now, though. Um, disable pop-up on mobile. No, we don't have to do any of that. So sometimes your pop-up will look really messed up on mobile, so you'll just turn it off. Kind of damage control. I think this pop-up will work great on mobile, so I'm not too worried about it. And then auto-close uh, is if you kind of click on the outside of the pop-up. Or no, no, no. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Auto-close is... Uh, it closes after a certain amount of time if you don't engage with it. I don't really see the purpose of that, uh, at least for my uses. So we're going to go ahead and publish this. And then I have a post that I made, and we can kind of look at it. This post is password protected uh, because it really is just a dumb fake blog. But let's just view it right now. And obviously, you can tell the blog's not prepared. But look at that. You see that thing just pop out down there? And then I can sign up, um, put my old email address in there, and then click sign up. Now, this needs to be formatted a little, don't you think? Uh, so I think I'm just going to do that live with you and show you how I make it look a little bit better. Um, so, And also, while I'm doing that, so the address I used was joe at bra.am. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to MailChimp and make sure that it imported. So we got 808 hardscapes up here. That's a list of all my clients. I think I'm not really supposed to show you that, but whatever. Um, so the campaign, it would be here in list. This is going a little bit crazy fast. Oh, but it's not there. Uh, and that's because um, I have to confirm it because GDPR. So. Uh, let's go to that specific email and I'm just showing you real quick what I'm doing, you know, so where to go. Okay. So right here's the confirmation. So I'm going to go. Confirm it. Yeah, I'll just do it there. For some reason, my Gmail is acting kind of silly. I'm not a robot. Storefront this is important. Oh, I don't. I guess that's kind of looks like. Oh no, this one. Describe me the list. Okay. There's the business's address. And then it'll ask you if you want to go to the website, but I should already be signed up. So let's just go ahead and refresh this. You can see right there, my old email address, joe at bra.am. Get it? Joe Abraham. Uh, I just signed up. So it works, which is great. Now I just got to make it look a little bit less ugly because this is kind of stupid looking. So just real quick, let's just... Uh, so the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to add some space around it with a div. Um, if you use Themify, you can do it in the Themify builder, but I'm just doing it so that, you know, it doesn't matter what theme you're using. You can still kind of get it to work. So we're going to make div style equals. Um, we'll add some padding and then I'll make it uh, let's go 36 PX. Do an important tag there, just so nobody messes with my code. And we'll close this div off here. Update. Now, hopefully, this thing still pops up, but uh, we'll see. There we go. And you see, it added like a little bit of width around it, and. Um, I'll kind of screw with this a little bit more, maybe make the text a bit smaller and make this fit in a little bit better. But, you know, you kind of can see where we're going. This is functional at this point. Um, again, this site doesn't really have the blog set up yet, so it doesn't really matter much. Uh, but uh, you can at least see that it works. And I think 
it has been quite some time. How much time have we been in here? Uh, there's no way to count until I post it. But uh, yeah, so I hope you guys liked it. Um, hopefully I'm not dragging on. Remember, free critique here, web design critique, facebook.com groups slash web design critique. You can do paid um, consultations at josephabraham.com slash blog. Just come here and scroll down to book now. And yeah, let's get out. Adios, guys. Aloha.